Sometimes you need a very tiny audio amplifier that works on approximately 3 volts, say 2 batteries, carbon zinc batteries or um, other types of batteries in series. And this is the, say more or less, easy circuit to make. You can of course also use, and that's more or less common, a LM386. The LM386, but when you read the data sheets, uh, the minimum voltage where that works is 4 volts. And it can work up to 12 volts. Well, it's an interesting chip amplifier, but this circuit works on 3 volts and even when the voltage drops down to uh, 1.9 volt, it works. And that's interesting, at least in my opinion. So, a uh, mini class A audio amplifier, it is of course class A when we look at the schematic. This is the schematic. Here it is. It's in one of my books. It's class A because we have here a 1 mega ohm uh, resistor from the base of the uh, NPN transistor to the base of the PMP transistor. That means that there is a constant current flowing and that current depends completely on the supply voltage. So with approximately 3 volts it, it's high and with, when the battery depletes to approximately 1.9 volts the uh, current goes down. The supply current goes down. By the way, this is a bridge. Perhaps interesting to show. So, no connection here. It's a bridge. No connection between this wire and that wire. Here's a... That's, of course, uh, important to tell. Anyway, uh, it's a circuit that you can find on other places on the World Wide Web and it works very good. I've tested it over and over and here it is how I made it in practice. With these low voltages there's always a chance of so-called motor boating. That means when the voltage here goes down to a very low level, say 1.9 volt or even 1.8 or 1.7 volts, the circuit can start to oscillate. And the remedy for that is very simple. Connect here between the, this is the positive lead by the way, this is positive and the negative a big capacitor between the positive and the negative a big capacitor of say a thousand microfarad. Uh, that's important, uh, then the circuit does not uh, oscillate any longer, even on very low supply voltages. You can use this, uh, for instance, for a headphone or whatever, and of course you can make it stereo. Uh, many components, by the way, when you want to make such a circuit in a stereo way, but it works, and it works on a low voltage, low supply voltage. And of course the switch to switch something on or off must 
say be made uh, here. And the reason is that uh, when there is a high uh, a capacitor, uh, an electrolytic capacitor of a high value, uh, uh, some current can leak out of the batteries to ground. And that means that the batteries can get depleted when uh, the switch here is not in the right position. So you have to switch out completely the circuit and especially the 1000 microfarad capacitor that does the job of preventing motor boating. Again here a bridge, no connection here and these are two uh, transistors, this is an NPN transistor, this is a PMP transistor, this is an NPN transistor. Well that was more or less all to tell about that circuit. Uh, you can here connect to this point between this point and ground any source say an audio source that delivers approximately 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 volts AC say a CD player or whatever and perhaps even a microphone or a microphone via a preamplifier anyway it's in my book Schematics 2 Audio Amplifiers and Loudspeaker Boxes on page 6 and there's more explanation there. And here again how the circuit was made. It's very simple and you can even see that I've used here a input potentiometer Uh, of 50k, 50,000 ohms, uh, so that the input signal can be aligned to uh, the level that you hear at the end here in the um, headphone. It's a typical headphone amplifier. That can work, like I told, uh, between 1.9 volt and 3 volts. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. It's a very easy circuit. It works. Etc. Etc.